Hi, this is Alpha Uzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is Trapezoidal Rule. The Trapezoid Rule is a very simple method for estimating integrals. The idea is to approximate the area under a curve by a bunch of thin trapezoids. The Trapezoidal Rule is a formula that gives a numerical approximation to the value of a definite integral. We know from the previous video that we can use Riemann sums to evaluate a definite integral a to b f of x dx. Riemann sums use rectangles to approximate the area under a curve. And another useful integration rule is the trapezoidal rule. Under this rule, the area under a curve is evaluated by dividing the total area into little trapezoids rather than rectangles. Same as Riemann sum f of x be a continuous function on the interval, closed interval a comma b. We partition the interval a comma b into n equal subintervals. Even here, delta x, the width of the subinterval will be equal to b minus a over n. Now let us see the idea behind the trapezoid rule. The interval of integration is divided up into n subintervals. On each subinterval, the function is approximated by a linear function. The integral of the linear function over each subinterval is the area of the trapezoid. And we have to add those areas with the usual sign convention. That will produce the desired approximation to the integral. It is expected that the approximations converge to the exact value of the integral as n takes on larger and larger values. Now let us see how it will be implemented. Let me explain you this formula given the function f and the endpoints of the interval are a and b. We define the step size as h. h is nothing but b minus a over n and the grid points xk will be equal to a, a plus kh and k is nothing but 0 to n. Then the trapezoidal rule can be expressed as either in this way or I'll write in another way. This is the formula and you can also take that, the intervals a and b. a is equal to x0 and b is equal to xn and it lies in between. Hope you are clear with this formula. You can also write the same trapezoidal rule for your convenience in a simpler way. Let me show that too. Here is the trapezoidal rule for approximating integral a to b f of x dx and it is given by this is approximately equal to Tn. T is the alphabet that denotes the trapezoidal rule. And it can be written as delta x over 2. I have taken all the denominators as common and outside the parenthesis. And this uh, inside this parenthesis is f of x0 to f of x1 and until f of xn. Where delta x is nothing but as you all know b minus a over n. And xi is nothing but a plus i delta x. As n approaches infinity, the right hand side of this expression approaches the definite integral a to b f of x dx. Now let us talk about the error estimate here. Is there an error estimate? The error made with the trapezoidal rule can be estimated in terms of an upper bound. Assuming that the second derivative of the integrand is continuous on the interval of the integration. Let me give you the formula that holds for error estimate. So if there is an error estimate, this formula will hold true. For some, mu belongs to the interval, open interval a comma b. We define the error as, error here is denoted as e suffix tn. That is nothing but integral over a to b f of x dx minus tn. And obtain an estimate for the error that is going to be so this is the estimate for error where m is an upper bound for the second derivative modulus of absolute value of f raised to pi of e x is less than or equal to m for x lies in between the interval a and b open interval so this is all about the formulas and the error estimates now let us see few examples to understand the application of trapezoidal rule here is an example please look at the question Use the trapezoidal rule with n equal to 6 to approximate integral 0 to pi sin square x dx. So here is the solution. The function f of x is sin square x 
and a equal to 0 and b is pi. Now let us find the width of each sub interval. Width is nothing but delta x. We know the formula for delta x which is nothing but b minus a over n. Here n is given directly, n is equal to 6. Hope you are clear till this step. So the grid points have the coordinate xi. xi is nothing but i pi over 6. Now let us calculate the values of the function f of x at the point xi. So we have to calculate the values from x0 to xx. What we are going to do is just replace. We are going to start from 0. 0, pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6, like that. So we are going to plug in 1 by 1 and find the values for the function. Function is sine square x. In the place of x, let us start with 0. So we are going to start from 0 and end till pi, 0 to pi. Now replace x by 0. Sine square 0 is 0 square, which is nothing but 0. f of x1, that is f of pi over 6. If you plug in x by replace uh, x by pi over 6, we will be getting sine square pi over 6, which is nothing but 1 over 2, half the whole square. So that is going to be 1 over 4 f of x2 that is f of 2 pi over 6 sine square pi over uh, 2 pi over 6 2 pi over 6 is nothing but pi over 3 if you look at the trigonometric ratios table you can find all these values easily it will be given directly so sine of uh, pi over 3 is nothing but root 3 over 2 so you are, you have to square it by squaring we will be getting 3 over 4 now plug in 3 pi over 6 3 pi over 6 is pi over 2 sine pi over 2 is 1 so 1 the whole square is just 1 now plug in 4 pi over 6 before plugging in you can just simplify it is nothing but 2 pi over 3 which is again root 3 over 2 the whole square I mean 3 over 4 now plug in 5 pi over 6 5 pi over 6 is 1 over 2 1 over 2 the whole square is 1 over 4 and finally pi sine pi is 0 and 0 square is 0 obviously this step is a very important step in finding the area under the curve using trapezoidal rule or formula because all you have to do is uh, find the correct function it will be obviously given in the question but you have to plug in the correct values and find the corresponding values for f of xi one by one slowly you have to get all the values for the given limit and finally you are going to add all these values let's see what will happen if we add Now we are just going to plug in all the values we got one by one here. In the place of delta x over 2, just plug in pi over 12 because that is we got pi over 6. Hope you are clear with this step. You have to multiply these and add them. By doing so, I am getting pi over 12 and if I combine all these, by doing the algebraic calculation, I am getting 12 over 2. If I simplify, I am just getting pi over 2. Does this make sense to you so far? We can also determine the exact value of the integral 0 to pi sin square x dx. You can just rewrite sin square x dx as 1 minus cos 2x, the formula that we generally use, the identity. So by doing that integral, we will get 1 over 2 pi minus 0. Yes, again you will be getting pi over 2. So in, par in this particular example, the trapezoidal approximation T6 coincides with the exact value of the integral. Does this make sense to you? So this is how we proceed when the n values are directly given. You just have to look for the a and b values and then find the delta x and find f of x0 till the upper value. And you can plug in the values one by one and find the corresponding values and plug it in the trapezoidal rule. What will you do if n is not given? You have to choose the n value and calculate the width. Pick the number of subintervals and compute the width of each subinterval to approximate the integral of the function f from a to b with n subintervals. Hope you're uh, hope you know the formula that I initially posted. H is equal to b minus a over n. So then enter the column with x values and a column with y values for your function. Y values are f of x. The x values should be in increment of h. Hope you are clear with this concept. So, 
The trapezoidal rule approximates the integral of some function f of x over some interval a comma b. So you can recall the formula h is nothing but the width of the subinterval. Width divided by the number of subintervals n. Okay, uh, that is nothing but the points at the beginning and end of.